Hmm. Oh. Wait. What? What? Okay. Okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that was unexpected. And welcome to GT Not Live, where today my skin either looks dewier or greasier, depending on uh, whose who's definition you're going by. Yeah, it's giving like the it's, clean girl aesthetic. It's so shiny. It I is. Look, I look so shiny. This is too shiny. Like, I, I look at the camera and I see the lights reflecting off of me, and it literally is blinding the camera. <laughs> uh, for those of you who don't know, and I, I brought this up in a previous episode, but uh, we are in the midst of doing a lot of live action tests for kind of like my final slate of episodes, especially on style theory. And so there's a lot of live action filming going on. And one of the things that we're testing out right now is whether you could absorb caffeine through your skin. I've been caffeine free for since the beginning of this year. Um, and so it's purged out of my system. It takes a long time to get out of your system, but it's out. So now we're testing out a bunch of like skin creams and products to see if like that makes me feel more energized. Does that keep me more awake? You know, in this day and age where caffeine is literally shoved into everything, does putting it in skincare products actually do anything? And uh, you can find out the answer in uh, upcoming style theory. Woo! Yeah, right. But so I'm wearing. So if my face is looking particularly radiant today or glowy today, it's because I've got like five layers of serum slathered onto it. Uh, it but it looks like I just like I, I really look greasy. Yeah, I mean, you did do double the serving size. I did. I did a hefty serving size. I, in an attempt to get an effect out of this, I just like slathered it on and did another slather and then a third slather. So yeah. We are we are uh, caked. We are, we are juicy. <laughs> juicy? I'm juicy. Oh, no. <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> yeah, today I'm juicy. Uh, but today, I, I'm always juicy, yeah. Oh, God. Uh, anyone who saw those uh, FNAF VR 2 live streams got a big old view of the juice. You shut up right now. <laughs> you shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry, everyone. Uh, so anyway... Uh, uh, today I'm in the mood for a creepy analog horror ARG game. Can you deliver that one up for me, Ash? Uh, deliver it like on your screen or deliver it as an explanation? Uh, d either, both. Okay. Well, it's not on screen right now, so I guess I'll go the explanation That route. sounds great. Yeah. All right. So this game, um, we've been getting a lot of requests for it. It's yeah. also been popping off a little bit. This is called Shipwrecked 64. Yes. And I've, I've seen it circulate. Like, I don't know anything about it outside of this is basically uh, 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 Catastrophe Crow. That's the one I was looking at. I'm like, what was the first word? It was Crow 64, but it was C Catastrophe Crow. Uh, for those of you who don't remember, we reacted to slash did a theory on Catastrophe Crow a couple years ago, which was basically in the era of like, the fake video games having analog horror-esque, like, stories attached to them, right? It was like, how are we creating the next generation of creepypastas a la, like, Ben Drowned from Majora's Mask, right? So you had Petscop, which was doing kind of, like, in the PlayStation era, and, and the game's haunted, and our spirits in the game, and this and that, and, like, what's the narrative there? And then uh, you had this really awesome, like, series of videos around Catastrophe Crow 64, which was, again, one of those just mascot N64 games hopping around, collecting things, but as you dug into the gameplay, as you dug into, like, the descriptions of the videos, as you looked into the history of this game, you found layers and layers and layers of disturbing imagery, secret messages, um, hidden lore that was, you know, hidden at the corners, and it, it was really awesome. I loved it, and I really wanted them to do more with it, and I don't know what the status of that is. I should probably look into it at some point. Um, but that was a really fantastic game. Game that was really just kind of like a vehicle for telling this narrative to us, right? And so I've seen a lot of people comparing this, Shipwreck 64, to Catastrophe Crow, only this one is more game. Like, we actually get to play the game this time, right? Correct. There are layers, there are multiple endings. Ooh, multiple endings? Yeah, <sighs> right up your alley. Oh, this so is a win. It is a win for our channel, and hopefully a win content-wise. Yeah, hope, hope, we'll, we'll find out. So. Uh, honestly, without any further ado, I think it's best to, to go in blind. I did see the Steam page. Here we go. So I, I saw this, and this is terrifying. Like, 
I saw everyone recommending it. I pulled up this guy and already I was confronted with literally the stuff of nightmares. I need your help. Like, look at this. This is the worst. I can't understand a word they're saying. It's like Winnie the Pooh had just the worst childhood. Like this. Let's rescue the gang! Right, that's a win right there. But it gets it gets creepy as we go. So I feel like that's a good intro to this. That's what I saw. That's the only thing I know. So without any further ado, let's hop into Shipwrecked 64. Play in fast forward. Hmm. That's odd. Was that a phone? A player? Some form? Ah. Shipwreck 64 contains scenes of violence and mature subject matters. Flee with caution. Oh, you know when it starts with a disclaimer, that's a good thing. Yeah! That's a win right there. Cool. I love the idea that this, this has mature themes and like disturbing situations. There we go. Let's hop on in, shall we? Shipwrecked 64. I ah, man, this is the stuff I grew up on. Okay. This. Okay, jump is space. And we got this. Alright, so what do we got? We've got Lizby. Some sort of uh, character hierarchy. Oh, hello. <laughs> wow, look at him. Look at him smacking that. Dang. <laughs> Just vicious. Okay, what do, what do you do? I'm concerned about the fact that I just... Can I activate you again? Apparently I just turned off all the audio. So that's unfortunate. Oh, okay, so one side is play. So that's pause. This this allows things to play. Good to know. Bonuses! I'm just curious. Hello, hello, zooming in. Okay, we've got the locked gallery. It's currently locked. What else we got? Collect, collected secrets. I shouldn't have any of those, but I'm just, you know, just starting to explore. Oh, uh, already significantly more in here than I expected. A giant cityscape of some form <laughs> with a statue, a golden statue of our character. Fair enough. Bonuses, settings, return to menu. I, hmm. Yes. I'm wondering if we're in here. Can you go to the settings store? Yeah, we can absolutely check out settings. Might as well, right? Well, ooh. Oh. oh my! Oh, and that's an odd angle to approach the settings menu from. This is, okay, PC settings. I love that this is all done like this. Uh, TV settings, control settings. Oh, even with the C buttons! Aww. That you can control it. That's amazing. Do you want me to go into any of those or no? Um, We need to find the V-Sync option because the screen tear is not a friend. Yeah, I, I can't tell say, if it's deliberate. Yeah, the screen tear is not pretty. But I also wouldn't be surprised if it is the oh, hello. Make your choice. Post process enabled. Simulated CRT effects will be rendered. This is for full immersion. Post process. This would you like to try post process? Yeah. We will not be as immersed though. Sorry guys. Sorry. No no immersion happening today. Let's see what happens. Maybe they'll get rid of it. Nope. Didn't <laughs> didn't really change anything. Yeah, we'll go to the so should I switch it back? Yeah, let's let's immerse ourselves. Let's, let's let's go back to the immersion. And then we'll see if we can get that V-Sync on. I lo love how slow all of this is. I know. <laughs> By the way, just like the old school, like, okay, load the menu. <laughs> Wait 15 seconds, and then we're able to go again. All right. <laughs> who hurt this guy? Uh, It's not a question of who hurt him. No. It's it's who did he hurt. No. Let's be honest. He go is... to the computer room. Wait, you want me to go to the computer room? Yes. Okay, I'll go to the computer room. Go to the computer room just for you, Ash. Thank you. Maybe the background will have lore secrets. <gasps> nope. Certainly not. Make your choice online or servers disabled. Oh, come on. Get out of here. Right? May also occasionally use the mic, just so you know. Okay. That's fine. It's going to be listening to us. It's going to be judging everything that we do. I'm assuming you're not looking for new controls. No. Sorry. What a blow. Ash, uh, uh, this, talking about blows, this is a blow. 
feel like a whip crack. It feels like I'm on the receiving end of that. Right, that's the game smacking you down for your desires to, to fix and v-sync. Uh, so we're seeing a server room. Oh, it's just kind of a, a duplicate of this world. So within here, we're seeing a camera that's duplicating what we're doing. So here we go, new game. Let's activate. I'm excited about this. Nope. Oh, we're back to the listen. 2023. Shipwrecked as it was intended to be, recreated using a game design dock and older assets. Game that was removed from shelves. Please play the fixed version to unlock. Ooh, I'm excited to play. I'm excited to play the unreleased version or the version, the original. Oh but, gee. But here we'll we'll start with the remake. Hey, oh. everyone, I need your help. Terrifying. Oh. Okay. Bring our friends back to safety. Golden Freddy and Bonnie right there. <laughs> so what do you say, buddy? Let's go rescue the gang. Let's let's do it. Let's rescue the gang. Shipwreck! Let's go! <laughs> I like that people are already applauding for me. I'm not gonna I ain't skipping this. Shipwreck. Uh-huh. That's, that's the cartridge. Hello! Hello! Welcome to Shipwreck 64 2023 edition. Kids through adults. So I, I think we're safe on YouTube. That's exciting. Shipwreck 64 was meant to release in 1997, but was pulled after three days for reasons we now know. Okay. We have been working on trying to restore the game. This is the closest possible thing to a finished copy. Nice, okay. We were able to transfer most of the game to new software, but we had to fill some gaps ourselves. Did you scan some circuit boards? Is there a virus popping through here now? This version of the game is mostly clean. Mostly. Nope. <laughs> it's okay. like, ah, I could get, but yeah, maybe not. <laughs> nah. I couldn't get big, but I'm gonna pass. Day one. Oh man, is it five days at shipwrecked? That's where I wanna be. <laughs> That's where I wanna be. Five days at shipwrecked. All right, there's our lovable oh, Bucky Beaver. Oh, hi. Yes. Looks like my prayers have been answered. Listen, you gotta help me. I was out on the sea with my friends and I crashed my boat. It was awful. And my friends were all kidnapped. It was pretty bad. Yeah, yeah, anytime. Like, not just getting into a shipwreck, but my friends were kidnapped. I feel like, yeah, that's that's understatement of the year. It was pretty bad. Yeah. All of my friends were kidnapped. Pretty bad. Yeah, maybe not the worst, but it was, it was a little bit rough. But you can help, right? Here, let me show you how it works. Thank you. Slow crossfade. Show me how it works. Try using the analog stick to move. I I have WASD, but that's what we got. So that's what we're gonna go with here. Yes, I'm moving. You can also press A to jump or spacebar. When no oh when no one's talking. <laughs> I'm just gonna be like I, I'm pressing the spacebar and it's not jumping. There we go. Press the green B button to interact. That that would be my E. You can also press the right bumper to hit. That would be click. Remember to look for canvases too. You can save on those. Last thing, hold left bumper to run. Okay, good luck, buddy. I'm all yours. Ooh. Oh, this is gonna be a time race, isn't it? 1 p.m. It says, the hull. Thank you, let's check out the hull. First things first. What do we got in here? It says save. Oh, yep. It's gonna phase right through that one. That's fine. We're all good. It's a note about the hull. Hello and welcome to Nullaterra. You're in the hull now, a safe space for new visitors. Make yourself comfy and take care. Chief Wolf. Okay, so this is this is a safe spot. So if anything bad happens, come back here. Oh, I've got. Look, look, yep. look. <laughs> oh, I found a secret! Nailed it! Check the menu later to see- oh. Check the menu later to see it. Is there like a pause or something? Oh, I can respawn. Really? Alright. 
So I really can't see the secret, so I do have to go back later. That's good to know. Just, hey, congratulations, you found a mystery object. No wonder this thing was only on the market for three days. It says, the park. Cool. Woo. Right, there's another save. Oh, I got save after I got that secret, right? So do we want to go to the park or to the living quarters? I don't want to do living quarters. More like dying quarters. If I know my analog horror spooky games. Ooh, there's a lot of people in there. Okay. Oh, the beach. Okay. That's over here. Right there. Nothing there. Cool tiny home there. community, guys. Right? I, hello, don't mind me. It's me, Giant Beaver Man. It's okay. You found a secret. Check the menu. Okay. Ooh, hello. Hello, person moving in the distance. I will I will come talk to you in a minute. But first, I want to explore make sure. Right? I'm just enormous relative to these houses. <laughs> I come in peace. Locked room. Good to know. No, it seems like no one's home. Mm. Not suspicious at all. Can't go into the woods. I'll say that. Where'd, where'd that mystery, mystery guy go? Might as well check the final three. <laughs> oh, darn it! Knock, knock! Right? Hello? Anyone there? Okay. Ooh. Hello, large cat. May I speak to you? Yes. Wolf. I heard the volcano's going off soon. Last we heard, you got here at a bad... T oh, last we heard, you got here at a bad time. I hope you'll be able to go home. I hate the alternative. Ooh. So I think maybe that's the time-bound nature of this one, then. That's why there's, like, a time... Like, a, a clock and things. Is maybe it's a countdown to the volcano going off. It says, theater. Ooh. I do. I am. A, I am a beaver of culture. I. We simply must. Simply must. Uh, excuse me. I'm looking for your production of guys and dolls, please. I'm just waiting for the next show. There's one about a beaver I like. You know, you look a lot like him. You're lucky. They're doing performances of me. Have they licensed my likeness? Hey, you're on the boat. Hey, what took you so damn long? Look, wolves been on my tail all day. Part of my debt is to cook for these mutts. But I can't turn the dials with these wings. They're useless. Okay, get in there, rodent. Wow, that was... Are you my friend? I didn't volunteer for this. No, thank you, sir. No, oh. Hello? Oh, I'm assuming I need to... There we go. Hello? Hello? Okay, I'm just... Apparently, I'm just supposed to do this. Magically figure it out. Which is not particularly hard, but also... Oh, there's one. Red. Is it keep them all in the green or do them in a specific order? Oh, there's red. There's, there's a red. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is like Take Cake to the Children minigame. Getting flashbacks to small children needing cake and slowly dying. <laughs> I don't know if anyone else can relate to that feeling, but it's what I'm, what I'm experiencing in this moment there. There. We're not gonna burn down this kitchen! Not on my watch! Look at this, I run a food channel. I know how to cook things. Is that it? Wait, is that it? Are we all good? Hey, hey. Oh. Ooh, ooh hello. Yeah, oh. okay, oh, there's one. There's one. And there's one. Nailed it! A winner is me! Thank you. You freed Giovanni Goose. Also got cook the worst, most vile, the, so the achievement was, where's the lamb sauce? <laughs> I like that this game is from like 1997, but is referencing definitely Gordon Ramsay, which I appreciate. Oh, 6 p.m., okay. Smell that? That right there, my friend, is a good meal. I'm impressed, I'll admit. First time, too. All right, see you at the beach. Huh, so it knew, it knew how many attempts that I needed. So the fact that I got it the first time. I wonder if that's going to matter at all. Since, you know, we're all probably going to die. <laughs> I've spent my last few days here. You know, cozying up, engaging in the arts. It's nice. Hmm. We're all going to die, huh? Because of, the, because of the volcano, I guess. That's good to know. Not a whole lot going on in the theater. But we saved Giovanni Goose. 
I don't know if I'm happy about saving Giovanni Goose. He doesn't seem like the most pleasant of crewmates. But we'll let it slide. It's also getting much foggier. Or is that just me? No, it is. Right? Is it the lingering ash? Falling what? The, are you lingering again? <laughs> I do stay lingering. You, you linger so much, Ash. <laughs> it's like my favorite activity. The park. Right, if there's one thing that Ash loves, it is to linger. <laughs> yep. So, okay, we could go to the park, but before we do, let's let's make sure we're, we're all through here. Ooh. Whoa! Sick ups, dude! Oh, he's got the triple jump going on. Wow. Did you hear about the volcano? I did. You arrived five days before its eruption. You've got 120 hours. If I were you, I'd use them wisely. So clearly there's a rescue all our crewmates and presumably repair our boat before anything happens. And I'm also wondering if our decisions, like going in and out of buildings and stuff, takes up time, kind of like a dating sim. Hello? Lucky, thank goodness you're here! Bad weather wound you up here too, hmm? This is gonna sound really bad. My boat wound up in a local dam. Can you try and get it unstuck? Just open the gates, and we'll be good. Oh, don't move if it gets dark. It's uh, hard to explain. Do your best. So, what? What do they know? Right, they, they clearly know something. So I have to, what do I do? So if it gets stuck, I unstick it, but don't move when it gets dark. So I'm assuming, oh, it stops as soon as I jump out, okay. Hold up. If it stops as soon as I jump out, though, I, it just doesn't matter. So I'm curious what's over here. I saw this big tunnel over here. Ooh, hello, parkour. Oh, gosh. Nope. Oh, Ooh. oh, oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, man, janky platforming. Oh, man, this is this is truly, this is truly a 90s game. Uh. Oh, 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 okay. Oh, no, okay. Oh, boy. That is... That is not great. Oh, he can wall jump? That's good to know. But clearly we're gonna have to get over to that side. Oh, hello. Hmm. Oh. Wait. What? Okay, okay. <laughs> wow, <laughs> that was unexpected. Oh, it's 9 p.m. Those hooks are sharp, huh? I know you've got this, though. Come on, you could do it. Yes, let me, I would like to try again. So it's 9 p.m., so it's getting later. All right, good luck, buddy. Remember, don't move if it's dark. Rune for you. The darkness came out of nowhere. It I'm just really saying. did, that was fast. Okay, it's dark right now. Does this count as darkness? Because I would say this is darkness. But maybe not. No, it flashed black, I thought. It did flash black. Okay. But what do I gotta do? So this one took me over here. I cannot activate this yet. I'm trying to figure out the mechanics of this this here game. Woo! Right, that's going up there. So I'm assuming I have to start with this one. Maybe this is the first one to start with. The, the controls of this one are not Mario 64, let's just say that. There we go. Nope, I missed <laughs> that one. Can I just do that? Yeah, I feel like that's easier. Although I wonder if I'm supposed to be able to get over there? That's really... I mean, if you went over there, how would you get back? Out? Right, I was gonna say, there's nothing over there, so I'm inclined to say that there's not supposed to be anything, but... Hit that. Okay, I'm not hitting anything. I'm not mo moving. <laughs> that was it? That was very short. <laughs> okay, sure. Oh, so now this one over there is open. Okay. <laughs> well, slap my knees! <laughs> Stop moving include like me in the boat? And also doesn't include camera movement. Two two important questions, I feel like. Hop out here. 
Yay. Spooky, spooky. <laughs> hooks. Why are there hooks? Oh, this is very long. Oh, hello. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh, oh boy. Oh, oh, oh boy. Oh. oh, oh boy. Okay, so it's better if I don't press anything, honestly. Okay. Great. That was so strange. That was a very strange control experiment, I'm just saying. You were jumping up there, though. We were. We do be jumping. Okay. <laughs> just a smidge. Okay, so we got two of these gates unlocked. There's one more, it looks like. There might be others after this, but... I'm not moving. I'd like to get off this boat, though. Wait for it. Okay, cool. We're blocked here. We're gonna go down here now. Don't, ooh, hello. Yahoo! Let's go Mario 64 skills! Great. Oh man. Feels like we're in like Rainbow Road right oh. Rainbow Road right now! Watch out for the hooks! Who controls the hooks? That is the question. Wait for it. Wait for it. Okay, there we go. Okay, there we go. More platforming. Yeah. Eat your heart out, Mario Jumpman Mario. You haven't met Bucky Beaver from Shipwreck 64. 64. This was originally going to be the launch title for the Nintendo 64. Fun fact. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Did you know? <laughs> did, did you know? Did you know? Did but, you know gaming? <laughs> but they only had that bundle for three days. Yeah, it was a very, it was a very brief deal. Mm. I wonder if I had gone to the left. I wonder what, if that would have done anything. Is that the one that had the print of Bucky on the side? Yeah. Oh, what? The, the one that they showed at the beginning? Like on the console? Yes. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, that was the one. Oh, the wow. very one, right? I know, it's, it's a collector's ed edition now. Huh, I, yeah. thought, I always thought that was a custom made. No, no, actually. It was wow. very, very rare. You could you could sell it on eBay for a pretty penny at this point. Really? Yeah, it's pretty nice. Man. Mm -hmm. Might go a long way to paying that college tuition. <laughs> Getting back that college debt. There you go, buddy. Wally Walrus. I'm a damn good sailor, according to the achievements. Free Walter's boat. You freed Walter Walrus. A winner is me. So that's two of my friends. Yeah. Oh. oh, oh, you did it. Thank you so much, Bucky. I knew I could count on you. All right, meet you at the beach. <laughs> Everyone's gone to sleep. We should try to find a place to sleep. Let's go to the hull under the beach stairs. I don't know, I kind of wish we were amongst this like tiny home community. Right? The commune seems fun. <laughs> I found a secret. Check it out later. Would you ever live in a tiny home? A tiny home? Sure. Yeah. Why not? Right? I don't, the honest, the, the honest answer is like I, Steph and I use like two, maybe like really three rooms, like in our normal day to day lives. Like we, we tend to gravitate towards just a very small handful of rooms. Like we don't spread out and do a whole lot of stuff, you know? Right. So that's us. Hey, I, I still can't talk to you apparently. I, I can face through you. But I won't talk to you. All maybe right. maybe the game doesn't want us to talk to Giovanni Goose. Giovanni Goose, uh, maybe Giovanni Goose doesn't want to talk to us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the sense I get. He says nouns like slurs, and it's just very unpleasant. Right, it makes me feel bad about myself. Right. Should I go to bed? Well, day one. It's been nice having you around. It's been nice having you around. Us? Me? Oh man, is it meta? Do they know we're here? Oh. Let's get some more friends tomorrow. Good night, buddy. So really, if I had performed perfectly, I could have gotten potentially all... Well, I could have gotten three friends on day one, it seems like. I don't know how many friends I have. In real life, not many, but it, Bucky Beaver seems like a popular dude. Maybe he has, he has many. Oh, we slept He's, in late, huh? He slept till what? You, a volcano is about to erupt. And everyone's like, wow, we're gonna die unless we get off this island. And you're like, yeah, I'm just gonna sleep until one. Sleep till one. Get out of here, man. You crazy. 
and these guys will not respond. And this was, this is to the park. So last time we did do over there, so let's do park today. This is to the beach. Okay, just double check. Very similar to the village. Oh, I wanted to talk to him, but that's fine. <laughs> cool. Oh, still 1 p.m. So time, so time does not pass based on our actions. That's good to know. Welcome. Thank you. This is the day spa. Welcome to the day spa. Ooh, hello. Secret. I love that you have to click these six times. Found a secret. Check in the menu. Uh, hi. Oh, Chief Wolf! Oh, looks like I missed one. Well, hello. Oh. Oh no, Chief Wolf, he missed us! He didn't kidnap us! That's what we're, that's what we're hearing here. Listen, I know it was an accident, but you're scaring our town half to death. I, I know, I'm huge relative to everyone else. I know where your boat is. It's in pieces. There's a forest nearby. Slumber Woods. Go there, get your boat pieces. I'll fix it for you, and you can leave. A scram. Oh, and he's just sitting there. Oh, hello. Psst, press the Z button. Oh. Oh, it allows me to see where the stuff is. Okay. Oh, and I got a sprint. Yeah! <laughs> Hope he's number oh, Hope he's number one. Do I need to bring them back to a location, or can I just carry them with me? I mean, it's still saying you have zero parts. It does say that, doesn't it? Also hearing sinister piano music. Oh. Oh. Nope. So, is there a location oh, that I should be headed towards? Presumably, yes. Maybe I should have paid more attention to where we started this little mission, huh? <laughs> Whoopsie. Right? Nope. Okay. Okay, so that's right click as well, so that's good to know. How do I run faster, though? It would be great to be able to run fast. That's slow. That's run slower. The <laughs> antithesis of what I'm going for. <laughs> One might say, does not want. Okay, here. The slow down button. That's what I need more of. Ooh, hello. Are you a villain? You strike me as a spooky monster. I don't, I, no. I, no. I don't, I don't want to talk to you. I feel like you're going to maim me in some way. <laughs> I'm very concerned that you are going to maim me. Where do I drop off my pieces and parts? Where does this go? <laughs> also, what a strange force. It looks like they shrunk me down and I'm just running amongst the grasses. I start off in like just the most nondescript area. Uh-huh. I mean, that's either a piece or the location I'm supposed to go to. Uh-oh. This is bad news. It's not, not great, man. This is not great. I'm walking around with a big old chunk of shipper over my head. I have no idea where I'm supposed to put it. Hello, sir. Maybe, maybe this spooky guy will help me out. Hello? I, you know, I don't know. Something's telling me that might not be right. Hello, spooky guy. I have a ship piece. Will you take my ship piece? Spooky guy? Ship piece. I offer you one ship piece. In return, you get red. <laughs> not it. Thrown out, I see. Nice one, dummy. Well, don't be a coward. Go back in there. Don't leave till you get what you need. Okay. I guess I should try again. It, it's still one o'clock. Oh. If horns, if horns is too close, drop and run. And come back and snag it later. Okay, so... So horns... Ah! Ha ha! Uh, this, this is... Oh. Great, so <laughs> here I am. And it pays to not deviate too far from here, okay? <laughs> Remember exactly the route I came. Okay, we got this one. Okay, we got, we're already doing better. We've got one piece. Now we're gonna have two pieces. Doing great. There's around here. We'll say if horns jump scares me though, I will be out of luck. I am 
very lost in this very repetitive maze. Ooh. Where we at next? Okay, let's go the same way, actually. Uh, this way. This way? I'm kind of in a hub at the top. So it's yeah. worth noting that I'm also at, like, the top of a hill. So that's good. You know, these games are prompting a lot of questions. Yeah, like About what? what this island is. Sure. Um, that's fair. So there's, like, imminent death. Uh-huh. With a volcano, yes. allegedly. 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 Yeah, we're not we're not 100% sure about that yet. There's sharp hooks. Yes. That operate in the darkness. 100%. Um, there are also cult goat guys? Yeah, your, your classic cult goat guy. Yeah, that, that feels about accurate to say what's going on here. Yeah, you know. It's your standard island. Right. You know. Typical, typical activity. Standard island fare. You know how it goes. <laughs> Three. And everyone lives in tiny homes. Except you for some reason. Well, we live in the hull, which is underneath the large platform. Right. Really. It is quite small, though. It I is quite small. I wouldn't call it tiny. I would, no, I wouldn't call it tiny. But a lot of interesting things happening here. Right? How do they all mix together? That is the question. Also, the question is how am I going to be able to find my way back after getting this random piece, which is like way out there? Like way out. Cannot be further away. <laughs> Just the furthest possible location away, ladies and gentlemen. Gonna keep running. Oh boy. All right. Well, here we go. We have sprinted literally a half marathon to get here. Okay. Man, this this is quite a, quite a hefty map here to find our ship pieces. It is. Don't know how they got so distributed across such a wide area. Uh, let's, oh, there's horns. Good old horns. Who comes uh, prepackaged with uh, some static. A little, little static oh, effect there. Oh, fun, static -y goats. Mm. I'm not going to probably be able to hop over that, so I'm just going to move this way. I'm going to take the long way around good old horns. And if I recall correctly, we are really at the top of a hill, which is the one thing that I think our location is going for it. We're just going to run to the hopefully top of this hill right over here right over here <laughs> right over uh -oh. oh oh no uh -oh. oh this is bad news this is bad news bucky beaver <laughs> oh news no beavers. oh no i'm definitely getting lost again <laughs> i just need to follow horns around i'll be like oh he's clearly coming from the direction i came since he's following me so i i should be able to just follow his movement so repetitive. Oh, curses. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Oh. No, that's, that's another ship piece. But it's not. Oh. oh, there's horns. There's horns over there. You know what would be great? If I could see, like, my logo. Oh, wait, there's pieces. Nice. There it is. Okay, so I can find myself by finding the pieces that I've left behind. That's useful, I think. There we go. Oh, thank goodness. Game changing right there. Huge, huge win. Huge dub. Horns is that direction. Not the greatest, but I, I think I can outrun him. I'm, I'm Bucky the Sailor, man. <laughs> got, I got some good legs. Those good sea legs going. We're gonna just make a little wide loop around this guy. We got 300 seconds left, we're still doing good. Still doing fine. Goat head cultist man. He ain't got none on me. We're, we're okay. We'll be cutting it close. They initially said like, oh, you got 600 seconds. I'm like, oh, that's going to be a lot. But apparently not. Really, really maximizing the time here. And then the last one's going to be way out in the middle of nowhere. That's okay. We got it. That's all right. It's a nice opportunity to exercise. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm getting my steps in today. There's also a strength component here, too. Right? It's nice sustained strength. Yes, really working those shoulders and yeah. those biceps. Building that lean muscle. Exactly. Real solid right now. However, I do question the form of this running, the arms down run. You know, he's really focusing on his, his quads <laughs> and his calves with this run style. They're it allows just... him to really focus on just the core leg muscles as opposed to the rest of the body. There, he's engaging his quads so hard, oh he cannot distribute any energy 
to bending his elbows. No, there is no, there is no elbow to be had here. <laughs> There's two separate piles, interestingly enough. Unless, unless that is horn. horn. I think that's horns. Oh, that is horns. Okay, yeah, he is a little bit red. He looked green for a little bit there. I'm gonna go this way. Take the long way around, so that way he doesn't bother me. That way I can get straight to my pile and win this game. There we go. Could this game potentially be some sort of sacrificial rite for a real world cult? Perhaps. There we go. I don't know. Yes, thank you. Woo. Yay, I did it. Oh dear, get out of the woods in one piece. You got your boat back. Pew, achievement unlocked. In true N64 style, they should make us piece it together like a like an old school <laughs> puzzle, like three dimensional, like really janky puzzle. Okay, got it, good. Leave it there. I'm gonna fix this hunk of junk. You get out of my face. Do what you gotta do. Well, oh, well. Looks like he was the one who got out of my face. So who won that exchange, sir? Me! It was me! Slap! Cool, well that was a, that was a fun little experience. A little five hours of hunting through the woods with the cultist on my back. That's fine. I'll get here. It says Town Hall. I'm gonna save after that, because that was worth the save. Hello. It's really hot out, isn't it? It's not the sun telling you that for certain. Just please leave for your sake. So are you guys just okay with the volcano taking you? You're okay with this. It seems like you're very chill about this whole thing. It says living quarters. Okay, so we got living quarters and then we got what looks to be another one of our friends right over here. Olive the Otter. Hi Bucky, thank goodness you're okay. Listen, I'm in a tight situation here. We were sent to gather coconuts for wolves to pay off our debts for the crash. I'm not great at finding things though. If you can help, I'll be able to leave. They're often hidden in trees or boxes. Hit or interact with those and you'll get them. Come on, let's get this over with. What a strange sense of kidnapping and imprisonment. 30 coconuts, oh geez, okay. We got, we got, we got. Okay, one coconut. Two coconut, oh, hello. Three, three coconuts. Okay, let's get this whole courtyard if we can. Four, anything in trees, anything in trees, no. Five. You know, if the coconuts are already in a treasure chest, oh, hello. Am I supposed to shake this thing or am I supposed to interact with this tree? This tree is glowing in a way that makes me want to. Am I supposed to smack the trees? Okay. Well, we'll just make sure we smack the trees as well. We'll both smack and interact with trees. Make sure that we've, we've got all, all bases covered here. I don't know if they should be showing up in the trees themselves, or if they only appear once I have smacked them. None of these seem to be yielding anything though, so... So there. Ah, I love meaningless fetch quests. My fave. Ah, empty box, that is below. I... The thwack really is a little frightening. It is. Oh, certainly. I... The the whip crack sound effect? Yeah. It's an interesting choice mm -hmm. for a protagonist, but okay. He's very, you know, he's just very vehement, and he knows exactly what he wants. I guess. Okay. I, I'm still waiting for one of these trees to yield me something. He said they're in the trees. Oh, here we go. Got another 10. Okay, we're a third of the way there. Does any single individual tree have a coconut, or am I just wasting my time? Do you have to whack it more than once? Great question, Ash. I, I, you would think I would see them hanging out in the tree themselves, so maybe right. they're just not there. I'm looking towards the leaves and finding nothing. I'm assuming nothing, because, you know, this is like riffing on N64 era where, who knows, they might not have had the processing power to do that. True. You know? But it does seem like the treasure chests are the bulk of our our victories right now. Oh wait, oh, I got a secret. That one wasn't a coconut, that was just a secret. Take it. Even better than a coconut. Ooh, oh, oh, oh! Got it! Ooh, okay. Okay, so there are some things in trees. 
We'll have to come back if we need more. Wait, this is this this area. Where else we got? Okay, we're here. And here. Where else was there? Some more? Well, this is a very large beach. That's the area we came from. These are some houses. Oh, is this it then? Okay, so these are the two areas, so it, it presumably is coming from a tree or two. Oh! Ooh. You have to hit the tree a couple times? Come on. Three. Give me the coconut! Oh! I get it. It's just like the ch the chests. The chests you have to open like six times. The trees you have to whack like six times. Or until the Yep, there it is. So it's not enough to just Yep. Okay. There ah now we got it going on. Okay. But that also helps us limit it, narrow it down, which is nice. It did not the most clearly communicated thing in the world. I'm glad I just started to spam my smack thing button. Because otherwise, I would have never figured that out. Okay, there. So now that we know that we're doing that, we can move a little bit faster. This tree is gone, this tree is gone, this tree is not gone. Nice. We're at 19. Woo! Almost there. We're gonna get you out of servitude, my girl. Olive, this one's for you! Get this girl out of servitude! <laughs> and out of whatever kidnapping situation she finds herself in. By the evil wolf who's apparently rebuilding our boat for us. That's fine. All this tracks. I'm okay with this. Oh man. A lot of coconuts over in this part of town. I question a lot of the logic of this. Really? Well, like... <laughs> do you now? I do! I can't imagine why. Everyone's about to die from this volcano. Yep. And they're like, you know what? Uh -huh. Take random sailors and make them do very mundane tasks. <laughs> hey, they gotta they got get their coconuts, man. They need, they need that coconut fix, you know? <laughs> For why, though? Uh, if, if you're going out, you're going out with a, a delicious coconut smoothie. I guess. Also, I just love the fact that I'm getting strong Minecraft vibes from punching, going around slapping trees. There we go, got them all. Ooh, ACH, collect all coconuts for all of ACH4742, huh. a weird achievement name. That is. Achievement 4742, is that maybe us? Maybe that's what it is, maybe it's like, oh no, the code's breaking down or something. Perfect, oh, thank you, thank you. I'll meet you at the, sto at the shore. You truly are a hero. You got all of our friends! Now let's get back to the boat. We can keep searching as well. Whatever you want. Well, thank you. Oh, oh no, apparently I, I do not whatever I want. Leave the island now. Leave now, miss on extras. Nice having you here. Keep exploring. Continue to wander the island. Watch the time though. Let's leave. Let's leave for now. <laughs> Bye! Yeah, let, you know what? <laughs> I'm good. Thanks, bye. Let's leave that in for now and just, I'm assuming that this is like the bad ending or something, right? Let's just, let's just go away. Miss on extras. What do you got? Alrighty, lead the way. Let's get out of here. Hello. Yes, save. It's really hot out, isn't it? Yeah, okay, yeah, great. It's, yes. He said, he, the, the wolves keep asking me to leave. I'm gonna take him up. On that, I'm gonna be like, yeah, you know what? You're right, guys. I should leave. What a crew. Right? Look at this. Look at this hardy crew right here. Ready and willing and able to get going. So I'm here. I'm going back to my boat. Just, oh, hello. Ah, she be a mighty vessel. She be a mighty vessel. Here we go. She full. All right, bud. Moment of truth. Good luck out there. I can't just leave without my people. I know I was rude to you, but... Seeing as you're actually gonna be able to leave? I spoke too soon. It's been nice knowing you guys. Thank you. As if you, you kidnapped us. Excuse me, sir. Your, your reaction confuses me, but I'm just gonna sail away. Set an open course for the open sea. For the virgin sea. Good ending. Hey, good ending. We got a good ending. We escaped. Woo. All right. I'll take a good ending. <laughs> ah. Look at the wonderful textures of the N64 era. <laughs> so vibrant. So detailed. Oh. There's, there's two boats. Right? Now. <laughs> what? Apparently there's three because I'm not on either of them. So these guys are just like, all right, we're good. 
Oh, there, okay, there. <laughs> the walrus is just doing his own thing. All right. Woo! Got him. Squeaks to Corge and Connor Cogware from 1997. All right. Bucky 64, Bucky 2023, Bucky 1997, Olive. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> A lot of. Ooh, and then the dubs and stuff? Wow. All right, thank you for playing. Oh, there was a windmill? Oh, wow. This island had so much more stuff in it. I'll have to hang out more next time. Well, see you guys. It's been real. And that's it, I guess. Hey! Ah. Cool. Here, let's check out let's check out some of our secrets. Out of curiosity. Let's check out our bonuses, huh? Turn to the menu. Check out some bonuses! Because I unlock a whole lot. Gallery. Secrets. Here, what secrets have I collected? Hello. Hello, creepy Freddy Fazbear. Oh. Oh. oh! oh, they're horrific! Also, there's a creepy bunny! Oh, this is terrifying. The design of these guys are horrific. Oh, God. Group photo! Thank goodness. So there's Olive, there's the walrus. And yeah, there's a creepy mouse rabbit? Mouse rabbit? Okay, we didn't find number two, I guess. Three, four. Ugh. Olive photograph. Yeah, this is so uncomfortable. That's so upsetting. Yeah. The, the, oh, the layers that have been put on this are just so uncanny. Ooh. The studio grounds vandal. Is that what we want to call it? <laughs> yeah, that's what that's what we're gonna call it. Okay. Studio grounds vandal, huh? Ooh, hello. Walter poster. Studio grounds. Hello. Concept art. Boats. Ink. Trees. Something a shipwreck theme. Shipwrecked items. Liz. So there's someone named Liz. Oh, is Horns a deer skull? Horns. Horns, deer skull, yeah. The save station, the oven, and Umi. What are those guys? Gumi? The bottom right, the screamers? Uh. Can you read it or no? On a smaller screen? Mine's really blown up and pixelated. Let's see. Looks like it could be my. Right? I don't know. Ooh, yeah, I don't know. Ooh, my! Scary! Right. Who or knows? it's those are exclamation points. Because oh. we see that same symbol on the first line and then twice on the bottom line. Interesting. Could be, ooh, scary! Ooh, scary. Lock, 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 lock. Okay, there's a lot of secrets to unlock, huh? A lot of secrets to unlock. Okay, so we definitely only uh, scratched <laughs> the surface of this one. So when they said miss some extras, all extras. Unless this is just like... Maybe that's it. That'd be a wild amount of secrets to have. That would be a wild amount of secrets. I feel. Okay, I think we missed like two over there. Two there, and two here. So we're like missing four secrets, it seems like. Okay. Huh. What is that bunny? Right? Didn't see him. Kind of glad I didn't see him. He was kind of, he was kind of creepy right there. And we still got this. Maybe I have to press everything. Now that I know I have to press everything six times, I'm just, oh, here's Liz again. Liz B. Who are you, Liz B? Huh, all right. Let's try it again, I guess? Yeah. yeah. Once more into the breach? Make Huge your choice. choice. Oh, hey. The game that was removed from shelves. Think outside the box. It's deeper than you know. Well, I can't turn that down. Right? It's deeper than I know. <laughs> Might as well. It was removed from shelves. Think outside the box, it says. So I'm assuming I'm gonna have to like phase through some some walls maybe. Ooh. Hello. Hey, everyone. I need your help. Yeah, this is how it was ship. Green screen and everything. Shipwreck was pulled from shelves after three days. Oh, he's so sad. The game received many complaints after its launch. I don't blame it. It's graphics like this. 
Ooh, creepy. This was Cogware's last sec second last game. What do you say, buddy? Let's go rescue the gang. Ooh, okay. Cool. Oh. Heck here, are we gonna go through this or is this gonna be new this time? I think it's gonna be new, right? Hello! Hello! Welcome to Shipwreck 64 1997. Very so slow and thoughtful. Information on the game has been very sparse since its soft launch in 1997. Mm. The game would not work on any emulators, but after some tinkering, we built our own for this game. The game was developed by Cogware Games. Two ex-devs helped us create this version of the game. Oh, look, you got help from the first-hand people. That's great. This game may have some glitches or artifacts, it is not for the faint of heart. Uh, Some crazy glitches. Right? Oh, whoop! Shoo, closed again. This is exactly how we found the game. Unaltered. Cool! It's a good setup. I like the setup. I like that there's like this intro sequence where it's like, this is the game, but here's the real game. That's cool. I worry a little bit about that, uh, that forest minigame. If we have to do that one again. I'm feeling that's gonna get intense. Oh, this looks familiar. Hello! Oh, hi! Looks like my prayers have been answered. Listen, you gotta help me. I was out on the sea with my friends, and I crashed my boat. It was awful. And my friends were all kidnapped. It was pretty bad, yeah. But you can help, right? Here, let me show you how it works. Okay. Try using the analog stick to move, did it? You can also press A to jump. When no one's talking, that is. Press the green B button. Yeah, I'm gonna use the right bumper to hit. Remember to look for canvases too. You can save on those. Last thing, hold the left bumper to run. Okay, good luck, buddy. I'm all I'm all serious. Okay. Says the hole. Okay. Go back to the hole, let's save it. Let's I mean let's go through the same process, I guess. Think outside the box, huh? Gonna save. Does it say anything different? It's a note about the hull. Hello, and welcome to Nula Terra. You're in the hull now, a safe space for new visitors. Make yourself comfy, and take care. Equal. Okay. Alright, sounds like a plan. I've been biting my tongue on this one. Yes, please. But I find it interesting because we saw that bit with the code. Mm -hmm. Don't you think this font, the C's, look like open parentheses? Ooh. That's interesting. Here, I'll, I'll pay attention to it now. Like, Next every time. single time I see the C, it looks like curvy little bracket. That's interesting. I'll have to, I'll, I'll keep an eye out for it now. Okay, so let's do, it says the park. All right, let's go to the park. Here we go, hello. Nice of you to just crash in like that. We're all trying to live our lives. If you want to keep yours, then leave. You wouldn't want to stay here too long. Thank, thank you, sir. You're such a welcoming local community. I really appreciate it. Here, I don't want to do that one just yet. What's this? It says, Ah! It says, Kizke to Quipni. Well, that right there says, Cryptogram, if I've. Oh. Wait, what? What? Hello? Huh, huh. Oh great! Well, that's the vandal, I guess. There's, there's the vandal. Ooh, that's creepy and disturbing. Yikes! All right, let's help Olive. Thank goodness you're here. Listen, I'm in a tight spot. We're sent together coconuts. I'm not great at finding coconuts. They're often hidden in the trees. Yep, hit them. Okay, great. All right, let's let's do the coconut game. We're a pro at this now. So think outside the box, huh? So I have a feeling this game's gonna like require us to like glitch through walls, etc. Okay, coconut. There we go. Now that I've got all my cool parkour skills, 
there. We're flying through this now. Well, now, I mean, now I know, man. See, this is the speedrunner strats. There we go. Before I was being careful. Especially now, though, if I, like, know I'm supposed to find secrets and things. I don't know if there's gonna, like, you need to find them within a certain time, or if there's, you know, if, if I'm gonna have to rub my body on every single corner of this game, I'm gonna need time for that. Rubbing my body on every corner of this game is gonna take a lot of time. Great. But if that's what I have to do, for the lore, I'm willing to do it, Ash. Well, good on you, man. Thanks. Could not be me. That's my, that's my commitment. <laughs> I will rub it everywhere. Don't. Please don't. But then how will we know this, the true story? There has to be another option. This is the only option. This is a, wait. Hold up. There wasn't there wasn't a door there before, was there? Hello. Oh. Ooh. Hey. Wait, this was not here before. Huh. What are you trying to tell me? Strange mirror that just appeared here. Can I smack you a bunch of times? Apparently not. Oh. Is this a metaphor for self-hatred? <laughs> <laughs> if I maybe if I unlock another couple. I wonder if something else will appear if I keep unlocking coconuts. See? This is what I'm saying! You gotta speed through it so that way you can find the mysterious mirrors and then deal with them. <laughs> deal with them. And then deal with what those also curious about. Nope, okay, you're not gonna let me wall jump over there. Sometimes anymore. the scariest thing is the face you see staring back at you in the mirror. <laughs> wow. You're so right, Ash. Man. That's deep. <laughs> this is getting deep. I'm feeling it. Yeah. Max, Max, Max. What makes you think, huh? It does. If there's anything that makes you think, it's Shipwreck 64. <laughs> oh, there it is! There you go! I knew it. I, I noticed, so here's what I did. I noticed that the, the path here was going through here. Oh, buddy. Huh. Yeah, I don't want to run out of time now. Oh, fire. Hello. Ooh, you are a... Ooh. Hello. Who are you, Mr. Analog Horror Picture? Huh. And so the mystery begins. Okay, what that tells me is we either really don't like him or we like him so much. We, we love him so much, <laughs> we stand. <laughs> oh, and the timer is gone now. Hmm. Five and eight are different colors. One, three, seven, nine are definitely different colors. Seven is cut off, nine is cut off, four is cut off, and six is cut off. I don't know if any of those details matter, hmm. but it is something I want to call out. Okay, so we're looking for a four digit code. Oh. B time. B time equals true. B time, baby! Yeah, B time! It is, we are 100% true about B time. <laughs> B time equals true. So if, if the variable B time is on beach time, what would B time stand for? Oh! B time equals true. No, I collected so many coconuts, though. Right? What is B time? Okay, living quarters. It's really hot, isn't it? Not the sun, I'm telling you that for certain. Just please leave for your earth state. It says town hall. Okay, we can go back to town hall. B time equals true. Each time? So, based on coding, right? Yes. That, I mean, that's it's either true or false. False means it would be like turned off or whatever. So, true. Like, maybe that, maybe that if you turn it to false in some way, it, I, I'm assuming B stands for beach, so maybe it allows you to turn off time on the island, allowing you the more chance to do things. Oh, that's smart. I'm thinking. That's just my gut. Okay, the park. 
Now we're at living quarters. What weird stuff is in living quarters? So yeah, think outside the box. This says the beach, so this is back to the beach. What's this guy? This guy's locked. Okay. Uh, Ash, will you take a photo of this? And if you can work on the, the cryptogram in the background? Aye, aye. I feel like this should be pretty quick. This is something to door three. Okay. I would assume. Because it's blank, double letter blank. I oh, myself interference. Okay. And since we are at a door, I'm assuming the QPPN is door. So that would also make sense because Q ends the first word, so it'd be something D. Yeah, yeah I don't know. Let me pull up a note, write this out. You got it? Yep. I can also eventually get you the other one too. But you got it all written out? Yep. Great. Thanks so much. Yeah. Thank you so much for playing my game. I go into, can I go into the water here? No. I feel like there's absolutely something hidden in these woods with these repetitive, like this kind of like repetitive woods maze. You know he's gonna. You know he's gonna have something in his mission. You already saw in the ninth, in the 2023 version of of Wal the Wally Walruses or whatever his name was, his game, that there was a lot of glitchy textures and extra areas outside the bounds of what you needed to do for the game. Mm -hmm. And so, I'm assuming you're gonna have to go through there. This was a weird spot of the woods before. I'm just slam. Oh, let me just slam my body around. Bonk. Smacking some trees. That's what I do. Oh, yep. Yeah. This is this is gonna be a big tree maze. FQ2QPPN3. So you know it shares the letter D in both of those words. Maybe. If it, if it if it is door, that's my first guess. Right. It's also one of those things too. I, I can see if I, I can go back and get you the first cryptogram, the one yeah, that prompted the video. Okay, this is a theater. Okay, before I go to theater, let me get you the other cryptogram so I can you can work on that. Yeah. And I will then maybe save Giovanni Goose and see what's going on there. Where we? It's catchy. It sounds like the Disney Channel theme. It does. Like, do, 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 do. Yeah. Oh, this is the beach. Need. And then we'll do some missions here, but let's go over here. So I haven't saved any of my friends yet. Right? There you go. Uh, KBZFQ2. So it's the same, but the numbers are different. Oh, is it? Yeah, so it's something two, number one. Yeah, because the second one is two, three. Okay. Good to know. I don't want to save her just yet. Let's let's explore my friend missions. I also don't want to go to the forest yet, because I feel like the forest is the biggest one and the place where you can hide the most and also is already the most sinister. So I think looking for clues in the less sinister places is a good place to get started. Or the volcano's gonna go off soon. As we heard, yeah, we have okay. basically the same dialogue. Okay, let's let's talk to our buddy here. So let's let's find some hooks. Thank goodness you're here. Bad weather wound you up here too. This is gonna sound really bad, Walter Walrus. My boat wound up in a local dam. Can you try and get it up? Just open the gates and we'll be good. Oh, and don't move if it gets dark. It's hard to explain. Okay. I saw this at the beginning. I was curious if this. Can I jump up here at all? No. Okay, so this is just. Just a weird. Oh, hello. I think up here? Oh. No, I guess not. It is very precisely designed to be a wall jump thing, though. I think outside the, the like this one. This one to me had the most obvious chances for like glitching through walls. I don't know. Let's see. And down. Oh, that was that was here. Okay. Hey, leap, leap, man, leap, leap. Okay. Okay. 
It really feels like there, there's got to be something over there, right? It's so strange that they would like be like, hey, here's this whole thing over here that you can't get access to. Seems odd. I also wonder if you hit them in a different order. Right. If that would change things. Stop moving. Spooky, spooky. I'm trying to explore possibilities if that second word is door. Um, so I pulled up a cryptogram solver to help me. Uh -huh. Just like look at all the different options here. Um, there's a lot of words, five letter words that end with D that it could Right, I was going to say, be. it's right, it feels like we're going to need more. There's fixed. We have, let's see, hazed. Certainly not humid, I hope. Lucid, lined, um, mixed, piled, tiled. I think no, we can't. These react all, all these barrels are weird. There's like a lot of weird. So it's it's very much tied to your like button controls. Cause even though I was very clearly moving, my button control stopped as soon as I saw it, so that's what kept us safe there. Nothing. No? Nothing up here, huh? Nothing, okay. Alright. Let me just ram again, like I said, let me ram my body into every surface. Or is it a world where I just do these in a different order? And different things either lock or unlock. Okay. This. Hmm. It could also be a, see it being. The, I could also see it being the sort of thing where I have to figure out the B time equals true code before we unlock other things. Yeah. We have all that stuff. Right we got some e time, bone time. Right, this one had that other exit right over there. I like. I appreciate that they're controlling the camera for me. That's very nice. Okay. Trust that I'm not gonna fall off. We're all good. Me. Just looking around. Beaver time! Like, what is over here? Like, why would you have this over here? You done? Like, why is this over here? Hmm. So weird. That reads is very strange to me. I have this door over here. I get that. It's very brief. I go through this door. This is me. Oh! Oh boy. Oh! So it's it's the door. Hello. Hello. She hasn't been acting right. Mark Mullins. She hasn't been acting right. No one around has been acting right lately. No one around. I took her to the hospital. And I walked out on my own. And they said that she's going to be there for a while. Ho! 
Oh, great. Oh, and we're fading out. Okay. Uh. Hello? Oh, there's the mirror thing again. So should I just look in the mirror for a long time? <laughs> I feel really gross looking at my own reflection. Do I really look like this? I've never felt so discontent. Called it. <laughs> right? <laughs> Self-hatred? <laughs> you did! You absolutely called it! So that means the mirror in the other minigame, we should probably, like, just stop and stare at ourselves, huh? Oh, man. I'm looking at the beaver in the mirror. Oh, Bucky, it's okay. S practice. Oh. Shoot. Practice some self-love, beaver. It's okay. On Earth? Huh. What? On Earth? So it hooked us away, and now we're reset at this thing. This whole game's reset now. Oh, shoot. I got all the mini games again. Dude, I wanted to do that tunnel again. 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 I wanted to do the tunnel again. Once more. Once again. Okay, so... That tells us in the Olive minigame, it probably behooves us to stop and look at, at the mirror. And just stare at ourselves. Maybe it'll teleport us. Maybe the mirrors are like the teleportation to these other areas or something. And we have Mark Mullins now. I think it probably makes the most sense to cut it here at this point, um, just because at this point we've gotten two, what seems to be like pretty large secrets uh, between like the burning picture, the B time equals uh, true, and then here with the, the Mark Mullins audio tape uh, and what that could potentially mean as well as, hey, I'm looking in the mirrors now. Clearly, clearly there's something more here. Uh, I'm wondering if this is a, a classic case of like people being put into video games. One of those, like, hey, my spirit wants to live on it, so I'm going to put it into a into a video game, or this is my subconscious or whatever. Hence why Bucky Beaver is so upset when he looks at himself, like, oh, is this what I look like now? Like, this is terrible. So it's forcing him to confront who he is now or what he is now because he's been put in the game. You know, that's that's a classic video game trope at this point. But again, creepy. And, and you can tell that there's an undercurrent here that's only going to build from this point forward. The designs of the suits... The audio design, the effects of some of these pictures and some of the secret videos that we've uncovered so far, those in and of themselves, very unsettling. Like, this is one of those games that I play and I'm like, ooh, as we go into this, it's going to give me that same unsettled feeling as, like, Walton Files or Harmony and Horror, where it's, it's like, oh, it's, it's, it, 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 it's not like FNAF where it's like, oh, it's a spoopy, creepy. Like, this is like, oh, this actually gets to disturbing stuff that makes you feel, like, icky but in, in kind of like a fun, exciting way, because you're discovering it. So anyway, I'm excited for more Shipwrecked 64. I hope you are too. Uh, let me know your thoughts on any of the things that we've seen here today. I'm very curious where it heads to from here, uh, but it seems like we've just kind of started to scratch the surface, so it seems like a good time to call it, uh, which means that, you know, it, it's time to remind you that it wasn't a live stream, but it was a video, a video for you. See ya!